Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn a new assembly language instruction for 8086 microprocessor and that is loop. L -O -O -P, loop. Loop is a keyword and it is a looping instruction. It will loop to this label if CX is not zero. The line, this line is very important because CX register is a very critical register for this instruction. Uh, if you want to understand, you have to keep your eye on the content of CX register, right? So if CX value is not zero or it's a non-zero value, some four, five, two, zero, whatever, right? Uh, not zero. Uh, it should be looping to this label, right? Whenever you will encounter with this loop instruction, it will jump to label, whatever the label defined, right? And that uh, procedure will be repeated unless CX value is zero, right? So uh, to understand this instruction, let's go to this program and under, try to understand it, right? So very first instruction in this code, I've written it for you, move AX comma zero zero. That means AX value will become zero zero. The next thing move VX comma zero two, the VX value will become zero two and move CX comma zero five. So counter register or CX register, right? CX register is also known as counter register because it will be serving counter for the loop instruction. So zero, CX value is zero five. And then ABC colon. This is very first time we are using in this series or video series. ABC uh, is a label here. That is why we are uh, using colon after the label, right? So in 8086 Assembly language, uh, whenever you use a label, you have to use this colon, right? ABC colon, right? ABC colon. And after that, you will, inf you will uh, use some instruction. So ABC colon is a label for aid instruction, add instruction, what it is doing, adding AX comma BX. So whatever the value of BX, which is zero to it will be added into AX. AX value is what zero, zero. So zero, zero value will be added with two. And then next instruction is what loop ABC. So this loop instruction will force back to the flow of code uh, to the previous instruction, which is ABC, right? There could be number of instruction in between this label and loop, but I have just used one instruction in the loop. So what is going to happen? This loop instruction will be again repeated, but how many time it will repeat or every time it loop back, what it is going to happen? The value of counter register, which is equals to five, right? It will be decremented by one automatically. So first, first time it will become four. Next time it will become three. Next time it will become two. Next time it will become of one and then it will become zero. So five times this, this loop will be repeated and six times this will not repeat because CX has become zero. So if you add two in zero five times, what will be the result? Result would be what? 10, right? Or zero A in hex, right? So that should be happen or that should be the result of this code. What is this HLT command? HLT is halt. Halt means stop the program because this is a looping program. So we will be running this complete program. Uh, so let's test this code, right? Emulate it. And I'm going to run it directly run it, right? This program is halted. And you can see that the content of zero A, uh, sorry, AX register is zero A, which means uh, the result is 10. Okay, let's say if I make this counter value uh, three. So this loop will run three times. And if you add two in zero, uh, three times the result should be what six. So let's test this program now. I will run it. Program is halted and you can see that the result of AX register is zero six. So this is how this loop program or loop instruction is used to uh, uh, provide some looping mechanism or some branching mechanism. I hope you have understand this instruction. Still, if you have any confusion or query, you can post your queries and comments and comment section. Thank you so much for listening.